I don't know if this was a way, I, I don't know what his future plans look like. I don't know if he's going to be a Laker next season, what have you. But it does feel like he was piling on to the, what was already happening as well. And it's the Darvin Ham taking all of the blame. Because the boos were also coming from the crowd last night. There was a chant, fire Darvin, which, you know, that's fun to hear when you're at home, I'm sure. And then you got a player down there <laughs> eating. home court advantage. Stuff. Yeah, it's just, it's all of it is just all painting the picture that Perhaps Saturday will be Darvin Ham's last game coaching the Lakers. Yes or no? No, I think you get one more shot at it. And again, this is wow. this is this is not an easy task. Like I said, there's not one person on the planet that could probably make adjustments and substitutions and set up an offense to beat this Denver Nuggets team if you're coaching this Lakers team. They're just outmanned, they're outmatched, they're way too talented. And and this is it's not fair to be booing him at home. Again, there are high expectations when you're the coach of the Lakers, and there's even higher expectations when you're coaching LeBron James. So there is pressure to win, and when you're not winning, and you're getting your shit kicked in at home, and you're losing, yes. Wait a minute, I have a question. You have a question. Me. Because would you say that the Boston Celtics' talent is far greater than what the Heat is putting on the floor right now? Because yeah. Eric Spolstra figured out some stuff. And again, is, is Darvin Ham the greatest coach? Is he? No. 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 But is there someone better? But it's, it's yeah, I think there's scenarios, right? Like, yes, the Miami Heat, but you don't have a LeBron James to plug in. You know right. what I'm saying? You don't have That's, an Anthony Davis those to are plug big in. Pieces. You have to right. So Miami played completely different when LeBron was there. You had yeah. to adjust to. You had to. You didn't put in a system for them. You know, you had to put the ball in their hands at that time and say, "Go win us basketball." Well, then games. it's their fault. Yeah. It's, it's got to be somebody's fault. <laughs> uh, but listen, shouldn't the Lakers, Lakers can't they? They can't, they can't fire a coach every season. I mean, but shouldn't they? they find their Spolstra? Shouldn't they find that their yeah. guy and have their? Yeah, Who's I mean, their video coordinator? Let's start there. <laughs> yeah, where's their dang like, let's, <laughs> let's start. Where's their again? And I, I just I, I don't think he's the greatest coach. I, I'm sure he's a great guy, but sure. that's a tough job. It's a it. tough job. I wouldn't want it. Coaching LeBron as tough as great as he is, like it's 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 very fickle, and 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 I don't love it, and I wouldn't want it at all. But is he the one to blame? Could, could he do a better job? Yes, but is he the actual one to blame and to fire? I, I don't. That's Call hard. a spade a spade. The team is built bad. They've been built bad this season, but they've, they've yeah, they, competed. They bring, out, give, they bring in Spencer. He yeah, hasn't been great. They, everyone's talking credit. about Gabe Vincent, get healthy, get healthy. He's been pretty bad. Yeah, like, you gotta give the, you got to give the Lakers credit. They've brought in guys that you feel like would help this team get over the hump. They just hadn't been very good. That's just the reality of fair. it. You can blame whoever you want to blame. These guys have come in. They're supposed to be really good role players, supporting cats. They haven't lived up to the hype, and it's shown, it's shown in, the, in the wins and the losses. But give the Lakers credit. They've competed. They put themselves in a position to even be here in the first round in the first place for a team that was teetering around 9 or 10, finished the season at 7. Now you're, you've run into the big bad, big bad wolf. They've had your number way before this, so we can blame a lot of people. We just we knew it before this series even started. It was a bad matchup for them. Yeah. But a sweep is. You know, important. Torian Prince had their only bench points until last night. Like they. Like, Jeez, come like, on. You, that's uh, that's Darvin Ham's fault. That's can't that coach Darvin that. Ham's fault. Stop. He can't coach that. <laughs> um, the other game, the big well, there were actually two other games. That was disrespectful.